Hello! Magandang araw po sa ating lahat. So, uh, I'll be your uh, virtual instructor for today. And our topic is about the Executive Order Number 217 or also known as the Code of Citizenship and Ethics. So, before that, I would like to introduce myself. I am Sergeant Christine Joy A. Karcha, um, Philippine Army Reserve. Uh, I am residing at Mangaldan, Pangasinan. I'm currently teaching at Maldan National High School. So I am also a part-time instructor at Metro Dagupan Colleges. So I finished my Doctor of Philosophy in 2019 and major in Development Education and I was awarded with Meritus at University of Luzon. Also my Master's in Public Administration, major in Administration and Management in the year 2014 at Metro Dagupan Colleges. And currently, I am a graduate military assistant of uh, uh, University of Luzon ROTC unit in Dagupan City. I finished my advanced ROTC um, class 2014. Okay, so before we start with the lesson, um, I would like to reiterate some house rules. First, have your paper and pen with you. Second, I want you to jot down some notes because later on we will having a, a short assessment or quiz. And third, have your attention on the topic, not on me, but on the topic. And then any questions will be entertained later. Okay. So again, our topic is Executive Order Number 217 or also known as the Code of Citizenship and Ethics. Okay, before we start on the formal discussion, let's have some preliminary activity. Alright, so I want you to bring out your paper and pen. And the title of this activity is Think, Feel, and Do. So here. As an ROTC cadet, how do you differentiate yourself on the way you think, feel, and do among non-ROTC students? Okay, ulitin ko. Ano yung pagkakaiba mo bilang isang ROTC cadet sa way ng pag-iisip, sa nararamdaman, at sa paggawa compared doon sa mga hindi nagtitake ng ROTC? Okay, you can have that figure yung circle or sir, oblong na um, the heart and the hands okay yung sa circle dyan or oblong it stands for the I think and yung feel is I uh, yung heart is I feel and yung hands is I do okay ready na kayo alright now I'll give you 3 minutes to um, answer the question, okay? So your time starts now.
Okay, last one minute. Last 30 seconds. Last five, four, three, two, one. Ayan. So, I hope lahat kayo ay tapos na na isulat kung ano yung naiisip or yung feelings at saka ng uh, gawain ng isang ROTC cadet kumpara doon sa mga non-ROTC students. Okay. So, let's proceed. So, I hope meron akong uh, tiramaan sa inyong mga sagot. Here, here are the possible answers. First, I think I am different from other teenager and student. Yes. So being an ROTC cadet, I think mature than others, uh, others of my age. Next, I feel that my own, that in my own simple way, I have already contributions in the country. I feel ROTC will transform me into a good citizen of the country. And I do all tasks assigned to me without a doubt and hesitation. And the last one, I help my countrymen the way I know and I can. Okay, those are the possible answers na siguro is naisulat ninyo or kung uh, meron mang iba, well, congratulations kasi you are still enrolled in ROTC and ROTC will transform you in uh, uh, it will transform you from civilian to being a leader. Alright, so next, second activity tayo. Okay, what is the title of this activity? Is kulang ako kung wala ka. Ay, yung mga hugot-hugot dyan, ito yun. Panunong pa sa watawat ng Pilipinas. Alam ko, since elementary high school, almost every day or every Monday during flag raising ceremonies, nag-recite kayo nito. Now, let me see kung still, um, if you still remember the words in panunumpa sa watawat ng Pilipinas. Dito natin makikita kung ikaw ba ay uh, talagang isang tunay na Pilipino sa isip, sa salita at sa gawa. Okay. Here. Ako ay blank. Mm. Next. Um, again, I will give you three minutes to answer. Yan, your three minutes starts now.
Okay, last one minute. Last 30 seconds. Last 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one moment. Yan, I hope alam nyo pa at memorize nyo pa kabisadong kabisado nyo sapagkat kayo ay isang tunay na Pilipino sa isip, sa salita at sa gawa. So let's see kung tama yung answer ninyo. Alright. So pakinggan ito and you check your own answers. Okay, be honest. Itaas ang kanang kamay sa ayos ng panunumpa. Panunumpa ng katapatan sa watawat ng Pilipinas. Ako ay Pilipino, buong katapatang nanunumpa sa watawat ng Pilipinas at sa bansang kanyang sinasagisag na may dangal, katarungan at kalayaan na pinakikilos ng sambayan ng makadiyos, makatao, makakalikasan, at makabansa. Ayan. So, sino sa inyo ang nakakuha lahat? O nakuha niya lahat? Congratulations! Ikaw ay isang tunay at ganap na Pilipino. Okay. So, let's proceed to another uh, um, video clip. This video clip is the Message of President Quezon to his people. All right, so listen again. You watch and listen. My fellow citizens, there is one thought I want you always to bear in mind. And that is that you are Filipinos. That the Philippines are your country and the only country God has given you that you must keep it for yourself, for your children, and for your children's children, until the world is no more. You must live for it and die for it if necessary. Your country is a great country. It has a great past and a great future. The Philippines of yesterday are consecrated by the sacrifices of life and pressure of your patriots, martyrs and soldiers. The Philippines of today are honored by the wholehearted devotion to its cause of unselfish and courageous statesmen. The Philippines of tomorrow will be the country of plenty, of happiness and of freedom. A Philippine with her head raised in the midst of the West Pacific, mistress of her own destiny, holding in her hand the torch of freedom and democracy, a republic of virtuous and righteous men and women, all working together for a better world than the one we have at present. Yan. So, I hope naintindihan ninyo yung uh, message ni President Quezon sa kanyang mga tao or sa ating mga Pilipino. Um, still applicable ito ngayon, lalong-lalo sa inyong mga kabataan, sapagkat siguro hindi ko naman nila lahat may mangilan-ilan sa inyo na parang nakakalimutan na ang isang pagiging tunay na Pilipino sapagkat nilamon na ito ng sistema dami-dami lumalabas na mga KK drama KK pop na ginagaya na ini-imitate natin pero yung ating tunay na pagka-Pilipino ay nakakalimutan na alright so 
um, this message of uh, President Quezon is uh, very much related to our topic na Code of Citizenship and Ethics. But before that, um, here are some learning objectives na pwede nating matutunan ngayon. First, we are going to revisit the Code of Citizenship and Ethics by President Manuel L. Quezon. Um, kung sakaling hindi niyo alam ito, congratulations kasi nakainal kayo sa ROTC at um, matututunan ninyo kung ano nga ba itong sinasabi nating Code of Citizenship and Ethics. Next is to reawaken our being as makatao, makajos, makakalikasan at makabansa traits. Kasi minsan hindi na tayo nagiging makatao sa ating mga ginagawa. Nakakalimutan na rin nating magdasal dahil siguro sa pagiging busy natin or nakakaligtaan lang natin and makakalikasan. Ito, um, masyado na natin sigurong nababoy, sorry for the term, masyado na natin sigurong nababoy yung ating nature kaya tayo ay nakaka-experience ng mga iba't ibang klaseng kalamidad na hindi naman natin talaga ina-expect na ganun kalakas or na sobrang pati tayo ay naapektuhan na rin. And next is our pagiging makabansa. Tanong, paano mo masasabing ikaw ay isang makabansa? Eh, samantalang, sorry again for for the term, eh, samantalang ina-appreciate mo ang kultura pa ng ibang bansa. Eh, I'm, uh, this is, uh, I'm talking to some millennials or mga X generation, generation X, na kung saan is nakakalimutan na nila yung pagiging makabansa. Next is to apply code of citizenship and ethics in daily living. Okay? So, the scope of our lesson is first the short biography of President Quezon. Next is the definition of terms, code of citizenship and ethics. And the last one is assessment. Alright, I hope you are already ready to listen. Now, let's have the short biography of President Manuel L. Quezon E. Bolina. He was born on August 19, 1878 at Baler, Aurora, Philippines and died at the age of 65 on August 1, 1944 at Saranac Lake, New York in United States. So he was elected as first president of the Commonwealth but the second president of Philippines after Emilio Aguinaldo. His term of office from November 15, 1935 to August 1, 1944. That was nine years, and President Manuel L. Quezon issued an executive order number 217 that prescribed a set of civic and ethical principles or collectively known as the Code of Citizenship and Ethics. Ayan, di ba? Ang pogi. Now, um, President Manuel Quezon was the first president who died during his term. All right? And he was also the first president who died outside the country. Di ba nga namatay siya sa New York? All right. So, I have here just two uh, terms. Ano nga ba ang citizenship? Okay? Citizenship is the state of being a member of a particular country and having rights because of it. It is a being a member of a particular group behaving responsibly. Alright, what is this ethic? You know, ang ethics kasi, ethics at saka citizenship is um, somewhat like parang magkapatid. All right, because ethics is the study of what is morally right and wrong or a set of beliefs about what is morally right and wrong. Okay, so executive order number 217 established a set of civic and ethical rules to be taught in all Filipino schools. Yan yung meron sa executive order 217. Bakit nga ba? Ano nga ba meron dito sa... EO217. These are the set of civic and ethical rules na kailangan nating 
pag-aralan or ituro sa mga estudyante, Pilipinong estudyante. Okay, um, the EO217 was signed um, during the birthday, the 61st birthday of President Quezon. Okay, so pre-World War II tensions were running high in 1939 when on President Quezon's 61st birthday and he wrote this. The life of a nation depends upon the moral and civic virtue of its citizens. Now, more than ever, when nations, great and small, are on the verge of collapse, do we realize this fundamental truth? Now, okay, these uh, rules or those rules were codified in a 71-page volume that attach historical anecdotes and important lessons. So, ano nga ba itong... Uh, um, uh, mga code of ethics, uh, code of uh, citizenship and ethics na nakasulat sa EO number 217. Okay. So, uh, the code of citizenship and ethics is about prescribing certain civic and ethical principles to be taught in all schools in the Philippines. And it aims to develop moral character, personal discipline, civic conscience and to teach the duties of citizenship okay first ano bang meron sa eo one is have faith in divine providence that guides the destinies of men and nations okay of supreme importance to life of nations and peoples in faith is faith in divine providence who created the created and upholds the universe whose power directs the course of the world and whose wisdom guides the destinies of men and nations the christian bible the mohammedan quran as well as the sacred books of uh, other religions each have its own set of commandments for the observance of the faithful all unite in the recognition of the existence and in fervid love of god by whatever name he is called so even before tayong mga pilipino even before the coming of the spaniards believed already in one supreme being and called that is called bathala by the tagalog tagalogs laon by aba a laon or aba by the visayans akasi by the zambals gugurang by the bicos and kabunian by the Ilocanos and the Igurots. So, yung mga kanununuhan natin is meron na silang sinasamba. Alright? Diba? In history class, meron pa silang sinasambang mga bato, pampuno, or whatsoever is that. Uh, doon pa lang nakikita na natin na ang mga Pilipino ay malakas ang kanilang pagiging um, religious. Okay, sila ay makajos. Alright, that is one, have faith in divine providence. Next, two, love your country. Love your country for it is the home of your people, the seat of your affections, and the source of your happiness and well-being. Its defense is your primary duty. Be ready at all times to sacrifice and die for it if necessary. Alright, so itong pag-enroll ninyo sa ROTC, ito yung first step na ninyo eh. Ito yung unang paraan upang maipakita ninyo yung pagmamahal ninyo sa country. Because love of country is demonstrated not by words but by deeds. It is not an occasional virtue to be exhibited now and then. But it is a flame that should constantly be kept aglow in our hearts. It is unflinching um, determination to serve and defend one's country at all times and at all costs. Alright, next, number three is respect the constitution. Respect the constitution which is the expression of your sovereign will. The government is your government. It has been established for your safety and welfare because the laws 
and see that they are observed by all and that public officials comply with their duties. Respect the law. I respect the constitution because the government is our government, is your government. It has been established for your safety and welfare. Ginawa ito para sa ating kaligtasan at kapakanan. Obey the rules and see that they are observed by all and that public officials comply with their duties. The foundation stone of all governments is the law and order. Law and order. So without it or without them, it would be impossible to promote education, to improve the condition of the masses, to protect the poor and ignorant against exploitation and others, and otherwise ensure the enjoyment of life, liberty, and property. Okay, citizens should participate not only in the privileges but also in the duties of citizenship. Oh, narinig niyo yun. Not only in the privileges but also in the duties of, of citizenship. Now, example lang. Um, during this pandemic, Marami sa atin ang, or marami sa inyo, marami sa inyo ang nakareceive ng SAP, or yung amelioration program ng government. Pero mas marami ang hindi nakatanggap. And that way, yung pagiging, or yung pagiging recipient ninyo ng SAP, paano ninyo magagampanan yung mga duty ninyo as citizen of the Philippines? For another example is the four Ps, di ba? Yung pantawid pamilya ng mga estudyante or ng mga uh, mga mga nasa nasa low low status ng uh, mga pamilya or ng in the government. Now, this four Ps, member kayo ng four Ps, nakaka-receive kayo monthly ng allowance allowance more, allowance ng kapatid mo. Uh, tapos, monthly na meron kayong natatanggap. Pero, pag nagtawag ang gobyerno na magkaroon ng, oh, yung mga member ng four piece dyan, maglinis. Marami na sa inyo ang hindi sumasama. Ang, ang sinasabi lang dito sa number three is that you should participate not only doon sa mga natatanggap natin, yung mga beneficyo na natatanggap natin, but also in the duty of citizenship. Okay? And they should take a direct interest in public affairs, participate in the discussion of public policies, and exercise a prudent selection of the men who will carry out the measures for the attainment of the public welfare. Complain na yun ang complain. Si ganito, si ganyan. Pero pag nagpatawag naman sila ng, ng uh, open forum sa bayan, hindi ka naman umaatin. Pag hindi mo nagustuhan yung decision ng government, kinukontra mo naman ito. ba? So, let us respect the constitution because this uh, it has been established for our safety and Welfare. Hindi naman siguro gumawa itong mga legislative um, officials natin ng mga, mga batas o ng mga laws na ikakapahawak natin. ba? Okay, next. Number four. Pay your taxes. Willingly and promptly, citizenship implies not only rights but also obligations. Okay. Taxation is an essential power of government. Man is a social and political being. His nature demands that he live in a society of his fellow men. Living society, however, entails rights and duties among the most important of which is the duty of every citizen to pay his just share in the expenses of the government. We enjoy rights and privileges under the protection of the established government and we must pay the price of that protection. Bakit nga ba kayo nagbabayad ng tax? Because taxes are needed to defray 
the cost of public administration, law and enforcement, dispensa and dispensation of justice, national defense, and the promotion of social justice and other important public services like the promotion of education, agriculture, trade and industry, as well as the construction of needed public works and improvement. Yung highway na dinadaanan mo, galing yan sa tax mo. Yung tax na binabayad ninyo. Yung pagpapagawa ng magandang daan, galing sa tax. Yung pinapasahod sa mga mga police, mga army, saan nga galing? Sa tax natin. Okay? So, let us be res uh, responsible to pay our taxes. Kasi bumabalik din ito sa atin. Alright? Next, safeguard the purity of suffrage and abide by the decisions of the majority. Alright, suffrage is one of the most important political rights pertaining to citizenship. If exercised with purity and noble purpose, it is the security of popular government. Take note, let us exercise and safeguard the purity of suffrage. Suffrage is a public and social duty. It is our public and social duty which should not be neglected. And remember to vote wisely. You select the leader wisely. Hindi yung dahil mas malaki ang bigay niyo ng election, siya ang ibuboto mo. It's a big no, no, no. Kasi kung malaki ang binigay niya, ibig sabihin malaki rin ang, kung, sorry for the term, malaki rin ang kukurakuti niya sa ating kabanang bayan. Alright? So, let us all safeguard the purity of suffrage. And let us practice vote wisely. Alright? Next, number six. Love and respect your parents. It is your duty to serve them gratefully and well. Okay? Remember, nobody is more faithful kahit yung sinasabi mong jowa mong, jowa mong na ilang taon na. There is nobody faithful and devoted to us. Hindi pa rin yan faithful at saka devoted sa atin. Hindi rin yan sensitive sa ating mga pangangailangan at hindi rin yan um, mapagbigay kung tayo ay kumulang or kung magkaroon tayo ng ating mga shortcomings hindi nila yan pupunan kumpara sa pagmamahal ng isang magulang remember that nobody is more faithful and devoted to us more sensitive of our needs more generous to our feelings than our parents balibalita rin mo man ang mundo nang galing ka pa rin sa nanay at tatay mo Okay, like a celestial message, filial love speaks more eloquently than the tongue of man can speak, more eloquently than the pen of man can write. Ibang-iba pa rin ang pagmamahal ng isang magulang sa kanyang anak. Wala itong katumbas. Okay, kaya ipakita ninyo yung pagmamahal at respeto ninyo sa magulang, hindi yung inutusan ka, ha? Huh? Mama naman, adadada, adadada, wait lang, sabihin, mamaya, utos ka na, utos sa akin. No. Simple lang yan. Pag inutusan ka, gusto lang ng magulang mo na maging responsible, responsible ka. Pag pinagalitan ka ng magulang mo, gusto lang nilang malaman na mali ang ginagawa mo. Hindi dahil pinagalitan ka, hindi dahil sinutusan ka, is hindi ka nila mahal. That's a big no, no, no. Remember, ang pagmamahal ng isang magulang ay ibang-iba. Okay? Walang katumbas ni maski, maski piso, hindi yan mababayaran. Okay? So, mahal niyo sila. Next, number seven, value your honor as you value your life. Poverty is honor, ay poverty with honor is Preferably the to wealth with dishonor. Honor is what prompts a man to strive for all that is noble, true, and lofty in word and in deed. This inspire it inspires a man to be pure in thought, faithful to his duties, magnanimous to those who offend him, and generous to his friends. It makes a man courteous, loyal, and 
true and it never falters when duty calls. Okay? Value your honor. Next, eight. Be truth, truthful and honest in thought and action. Be just and charitable, courteous but dignified in your dealings with your fellow men. Okay, remember that character is life dominated by principles. Um, truthfulness, honesty, charity, and justice and courtesy are qualities that round up a real man or woman. These are the virtues that give force and worth to the race. Be truthful. We should not only tell the truth, but we should also welcome it. Only by knowing the truth that we are able to correct our defects and short comings. Kung hindi mo kaya ang kung hindi mo kaya ang isang bagay, sabihin mo. Okay, hindi yun nagmamagaling magalingan ka. Okay, be truthful. Next, be honest. Remember, honesty is always the best policy. Okay. Next, charity is manifested in kind deeds by men, whether endowed or not with material wealth. Remember that courtesy gains all and costs nothing. Iba pa rin yung respeto sa'yo. Iba pa rin yung na-earn mong respect. Okay? Yung binibigay mong respeto, walang bayad yan. Yung binibigay nilang respeto sa'yo, wala rin bayad yan. Okay? Courtesy, because courtesy gains all and costs nothing. Courtesy, politeness, right conduct are those acts, those acts which make our relations with our fellow beings pleasant. They are the expressions of good education, and good education is just an essential to the man of high position as it is, the, it is to the ordinary man as well as to everyone else who lives in society. Next, number nine, lead a clean and frugal life. Do not indulge in frivolity or pretense. Be simple in your dress and modest in your behavior. Okay, remember, this gas na linya, but is still cleanliness is next to godliness. Life is more than a gift. It is a trust which we must not abuse. All right, we owe it to our creator, to conserve life and that we can do only by observing clean habits both of mind and body okay cleanliness is closely associated with frugality frugality means the simple life both physically and morally in its material aspect it means bodily health and conservation of wealth and energy from the spiritual standpoint it means modest of conduct cleanliness of thought and speech, refinement of taste and behavior. Maging mapalinis ka at maging simple lang. Hindi yung wala ka nang ang pera, nagpapakita ang tao ka pa, na ganito ganyan, na meron ka. Ang daming lumalabas kasi ganito eh. And sana hindi kayo isa doon. Pero kung tinamaan kayo, bato-bato sa langit, tamaan, peace tayo. Alright? Next, number 10, live up to the noble traditions of our people. Venerate the memory of our heroes. Their lives point the way to duty and honor. A nation will not long endure if it is wrought amid foreign and exotic ideals. Okay, just as a tea will grow up straight, strong, and luxuriant unless it is native to the soil. And air. So a nation will not assume girth and strength unless its roots are planted deep into its own past and its soul is nourished by its own traditions. This does not mean that we should reject everything that is not Filipino, okay? But it does mean that we should discard that false concept of everything foreign must be good and therefore must be imitated. Huwag tayong gaya-gaya sa ibang uh, ibang uh, kultura, okay? Mga foreign cultures natin. Okay, we must use discrimination and prudence in adapting. Take note, 
we must use discrimination and prudence in adapting foreign models if we have to follow foreign patterns or if we have to follow foreign patterns we should blend them with our own customs traditions and ideas purify them first of whatever grossness or imperfection they may be afflicted with okay let us not uh, imitate whatever the foreigners do let us be ourselves isang puna na pilipino okay hindi yung ginagaya-gaya niyo mga pagkain nila tapos yung pagkain natin hindi mo na appreciate it's a big no 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 all right next be industrious be not afraid or ashamed to do manual labor productive toil is conducive to economic security and adds to the wealth of the nation okay tayo mga pilipino ay kilala bilang masipag na tao especially in foreign countries okay life is work man perfects himself by working man reinforces himself by industry great ends necessarily demand great labor there is a virtue in the spade and in the hoe there is such nobility in plowing the field as in writing on philosophy labor leads the mind of men to serious things it sharpens the mind of men by study it inspires manly by vigor by exercise and discipline and it leads to the intense cultivation of land so essential to the life of an agricultural nation by by labor by work by industry jungles are cleared barren lands are made to yield fair fields arise and stately cities born okay dahil sa pagiging masipag okay let me give you an example masipag kang mag-aral pero wala kang pera gusto gusto mo mag-aral pero wala pang paaralang magulang mo so anong gagawin mo? tatampay na lang it's a big no 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 masipag ka malakas ka kaya mo magtrabaho ka habang nagtatrabaho nag-iipon ka bang paaral or be a working student trabaho sa araw aral sa gabi or vice versa aral sa gabi uh, vice versa aral sa araw trabaho sa gabi ganyan ang buhay maging masipag ka so that your life will be successful 12 rely on your own efforts for your progress and happiness be not easily discouraged persevere in the pursuit of your legitimate ambitions be not easily discouraged okay persevere in the pursuit of legitimate ambitions our life is what we make if we are to succeed it is necessary that we possess self-reliance courage and perseverance for out of these qualities new strength is born which will enable us to overcome adversities and conquer difficulties even a bended tree finally succeeds in ascending the sky and resisting the winds by its own self-sufficiency Okay, rely on your effort. Hindi yung na-feel ka lang minsan, ayaw mo na. Bumagsak ka sa exam, ayaw mo na. No! Magtiwala ka na kaya mo at ito ay makakaya mo. Okay, kayang kaya kaya mong ma-overcome or malagpasan yung mga pagsubok. Nadapa ka ngayon. Nadapa ka bukas, madadapa ka ulit. It's okay. As long as tumayo ka. Hindi yung forever kang nadadapa. Remember, yung isang puno nga, di ba, sa bagyo, natumba. O dahil sa lakas ng hangin, natumba siya. Tanong, mamamatay ba agad yung puno? Hindi. Kasi nakahawak pa yung ugat niya or nas, yung ugat niya is nandun pa sa soil at yung soil ang nagbibigay pag-asa sa kanya yung 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 mga ugat niya yun yung paan niya nagbibigay pag-asa sa kanya upang siya ay tumayo muli okay 
and therefore trust yourself be courageous and persevere in your task 13 do your work cheerfully thoroughly and well work badly done is work is worse than the work undone do not leave for tomorrow what you can do today uh, i will reiterate work badly done is worse than work undone mas mabuti pang natapos kaysa tinapos mo na meron namang mali or i mean na gumawa ka naman ng kasamaan okay do not leave for tomorrow what you can do today ah, ito gustong gusto niya bakit bakit mo gagawin ngayon eh pwede naman bukas oh yung mga pilosopo dyan kaway kaway okay but no do not leave for tomorrow what you can do. Ba't mo pa ipagpapabukas kung kaya mo namang gawin ngayon? Tapos pagdating bukas, sabihin mo bukas na lang. Tapos bukas-bukas hanggang sa hindi mo na nagawa. ba? So, dapat kung ano yung kaya mong gawin ngayon, kung ano yung pwede mong gawin ngayon, gawin mo na ngayon. Sayang yung oras because every minute is a minute of change and who knows, mamaya, hindi mo na pala kaya gawin yung para bukas. ba? So, habang may time ka pa, gawin mo na. Okay, a nation of energetic and busy people, a people working cheerfully and thoroughly, all shoulders to the wheel, with muscles swelling, with hearts pounding, a people finding in work the cons consummation of their hopes and all their desires, a people who considers a duty well done as its own sufficient reward, is a nation destined under God to be great and strong. Gawin mong kaaya-aya, gawin mong masaya ang mga bagay. Contribute to the welfare of your community and promote social justice. You do not live forever or you do not live for yourself and your families alone. You are part of society to which you owe definite responsibilities. Simply lang, no man is an island. The individual lives not for himself and for his family alone. His life is a community life. Okay, hindi ka nabubuhay para sa iyo at sa pamilya mo. Nabubuhay ka sa isang komunidad. Okay, it is your duty to help in the promotion of social justice so that every Filipino may have the opportunity to acquire through toil his necessities in food, clothing and shelter together with reasonable comforts and a leisure which will permit cultural self-improvement and a participation in the blessings of an enlightened civilization. Okay, example. May pera ka, magtatayo ka ng negosyo. Yung negosyo yun, hindi lang ito para sa pamilya mo, hindi lang pansarili mo, hindi lang sa pamilya mo. Kailangan mo yung komunidad. Okay? Yung isang pinapatayo mo, nakakatulong ka sa komunidad mo, and at the same time, nakakatulong ka sa kapwa Pilipino mo kasi binirigyan mo sila ng trabaho at yung trabaho mo yun sinasahuda mo sila at yung sahod na pinapasahod mo may pambili sila ng pagkain alright, so chain lang yan okay chain lang yan cultivate 15, cultivate the habit of using goods made in the Philippines patronize the products and trades of your country Man, ito ang dami dami sa inyo na gusto hmm? Dapat yung signature ang gamit ko. Bibili ako nung punta ako nang ito. Bili ako doon. Galing sa abroad, signature, maganda. No. It is important that we develop our local industries with the aim in view of diminishing our imports, retaining our wealth within the confines of our country, and increasing the earning capacity of our people, enterprising men and women have heeded this call to develop domestic production. And as a result, factories have sprung up in our towns. <coughs> Excuse me. And even in the barrios, we witness the expansion of household industries. But unless we patronize their products and efforts of these men and women are doomed to failure. Now, we should appreciate and we should cooperate in the building up of our national economy and where we cannot actively produce we should at least as a matter of patriotic duty buy locally made products in preference to imported goods okay marami sa mga 
um, Pilipino ngayon na mas um, mas tinatangkili pa nila yung gawa ng ibang bansa. Oh, made in, made in, mm, ganda to. Wow, signature. Wow, original. But what we do not know sometimes, ha, yung mga binibili ninyo sa abroad is galing din dito sa atin. So, ba't ka pabibili ito kung meron naman tayong product dito? Diba? So, let us go cultivate the habit of using goods made in the Philippines. <clears throat> 16. The last. Use and develop our national resources and conserve them for um, posterity. They are in alienable heritage of our people. Do not traffic with um, citizenship, with your citizenship, all right? Use and develop our national resources. Real freedom must go hand in hand with economic stability, if not economic prosperity. Our vast domain and natural resources constitute the inalienable heritage of our people. We cannot alienate them. We are at most user fractuaries thereof. They belong to the generations yet unborn. It is therefore our duty to conserve and develop them. Develop them. Take note, hindi tayo forever na nandito sa mundong ito. Alright? So let us conserve our resources at isipin natin yung mga next generation, yung children ng children mo, yung anak ng anak ng anak mo. Okay? Kasi kung sisirain na nila ito, ano na lang ang madadaanan ng anak ng anak ng anak mo. Okay? So, yun na lang ang isipin natin. Let us use and develop our nas national resources properly. All right? So, I hope na intindihan niyo yung 16 na EO217 or Code of Citizenship and Ethics ng isang tunay na Pilipino. All right, let's have a recap, recap, recapitulation of the Code of Citizenship and Ethics. First, have faith in divine providence that guides the destinies of men and nation. All right. Then love your country for it is the home of your people and seat of your affections and source of your happiness and well-being. Its defense is your primary duty. Be ready at all times to sacrifice and die for it if necessary. Respect the constitution which is expression of your sovereign will and the government is your government. It has been established for your safety and welfare. Obey the laws and see that they are obeyed by all and that public officials comply with their duties. 4. Pay your taxes willingly and promptly. Citizenship implies not only rights but also obligations. 5. Safeguard the purity of suffrage and abide by the decisions of the majority. 6. Love and respect your parents. It is your duty to serve them gratefully and well, 7. Value your honor as you value your life. Poverty with honor is preferable to wealth with dishonor. Alright? 8. Be truthful and honest in thought and action. Be just and charitable, courteous but dignified with your dealings with your fellow men. 9. Lead a clean and frugal life. Do not indulge in frivolity or pretense. Be simple in your dress and modest in your behavior. Then, live up to the noble traditions of your people. Venerate the memory of our heroes. Their lives point the way to duty and honor. Be eleven. Be industrious. Be not afraid or ashamed to do manual labor. Productive toil is conducive to economic security and adds to the wealth of the nation. Twelve. Rely on your own efforts for your progress and happiness. Be not easily discouraged. Persevere in the pursuit of your legitimate ambitions. 13. Do your work cheerfully, thoroughly, and well. Work badly done is, work, is worse than work undone. Do not live for tomorrow what you can do today. 
14. Contribute to the welfare of your community and promote social justice. You do not live for yourself and your families alone. You are part of society to which you owe definite responsibilities. 15. Cultivate the habit of using goods made in the Philippines. Patronize the products and trades of your countrymen. And last, use and develop our natural, natural resources and conserve them for posterity. They are an alienable heritage of our people. Do not traffic with your citizenship. Okay, assessment. Based from the discussion, write an essay of not less than 350 words on how the code of citizenship and ethics will affect you as an ROTC cadet and a Filipino citizen. I'll repeat. Based from the discussion, write an essay of not less than 350 words on how you uh, on how does code of citizenship and ethics will affect you as an ROTC cadet and a Filipino citizen. All right, so you may send your output on my FB account or email address, um, ladysoldier26 at gmail.com or my FB page, Christine Karja. Okay. Now, thank you and stay safe. Always wear your face mask, sanitize your hands, and observe social distancing. I hope you are all safe amid this pandemic. Okay, so thank you. Have a nice day.